Ocio. It's how we say hello in Cherokee. Today we take you to New York City to witness a once-in-a-lifetime experience for two young Cherokee ballerinas. They were invited to train in an elite three-week-long summer intensive, learning from ballerinas from the highly acclaimed Vaganova Russian School of Classical Ballet. The girls say the trip was a priceless reward for all of the hard work they've put into their art form. A ballerina is supposed to look like she's elegant. She moves very gracefully. A ballerina just looks beautiful. She pulls her audience in and never lets them go. Share everything with them. A ballerina should be able to move easily and effortlessly and not make it look like it's painful. It means that we can show our emotions, we can show the beauty, we can show the, the sadness, we can show the anger, we can show everything just through our movements. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to talk to a person, we can just show them by arms or the way we turn or anything such as that. So anytime I'm feeling like I'm at a hard place in my life, I can just go to dance and let out everything and it helps me through everything. We are here for a three week summer ballet intensive for the Vaganova School in Russia, and it's called Open World Dance Foundation. We're just taking classes from people who have come from Russia in ballet, character. Uh, we've done a little bit of point, just all kinds of classes to get us ready for our future. It's a really big opportunity, and you can only do this once in a lifetime. It's just a really good experience, and you can say, oh, I was taught by the Russians. <laughs> Bum, 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 and one, and two, and three, and four, and stay. I graduated from Vaganova Academy of St. Petersburg, Russia. My teachers were last students of Agrippina Vaganova. Um, academy is named after her. I was very, very lucky. I had six students of Vaganova in my life. They were my teachers and coaches. Vaganova was a dancer herself. What Vaganova did, um, while she was raised herself in Chiquetta Method, and then she studied French, um, she took the best of both worlds, combined them, and through her own experience as a dancer, came to understand that there are um, some things that, are, that can be left you know, in, out in Italian and in French schools, and then combined and brought together um, her own, what came to be as a Vaganova method. Any really world company that's anybody world famous, you're gonna go, and it doesn't matter where they dance, but you're gonna go, oh, you are from St. Petersburg or from Moscow. Oh, yes, okay, that makes sense. We had uh, quite a few auditions, and we allowed in only kids who really want to learn. I wanted to make sure that we give an opportunity to those who really would want to learn and who have a lot of questions about this rare art form because we have the answers to those questions. I started at the age of six. Ballet, it's, it was a better way for me to express myself and it's a lot of fun because I've made so many friends and I can always go to dance and be with them. I started when I was six as well and I the reason I started was because I had been diagnosed with Mestinia Gravis. We had knew that there was a problem and we went and seen the pediatric neurologist and he came, came to me with a big old stack of books and told me he knew what was wrong with her. He told me in 80% of cases that it would continue to get worse and it would basically it's just their muscles are on, the voluntary muscles are not being able to be controlled. They just quit working. And uh, so I said, what can we do to keep her, you know, to keep these things going? And I said, she's been taking ballet. She wasn't real serious, but um, he said, continue that. That's kind of how we stumbled into ballet. And she's never, she's, I guess what they would say in remission, um, she's never had any more symptoms other than those at the very beginning. So we just try to keep her healthy and keep her going. Since I've been here, I've done a lot of walking. I've met some very interesting people <laughs> and I've done a lot of amazing 
things and seen amazing things. All my life I never thought I'd go very far from Oklahoma. So to come here to New York is amazing. It's so cool and I've, I've had so much fun. The thing that I most miss about Oklahoma <laughs> is seeing grass and trees. I'm tired of seeing concrete. <laughs> Ballet is my way of breaking free from other people. It's my way of expressing myself. Dance is kind of like my safe haven. It's not just, oh well, look, you do it this way. You, you, you do this with your arms. No, it's you gotta put your arms here, you gotta move your legs here, and you better get this spot right here. It's tough. It's tough. I, I hope people see that this isn't just something that is easy for us. It's something that takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. And I hope they see that and not something else. I'm, I'm proud of myself for getting this far because this is just an incredible opportunity to be able to come here and dance with these people. It's, I mean, it's amazing to me because I never thought I'd amount to anything like this. I never did. It's surprising for me to even think about coming here and getting this opportunity. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm just very grateful.